sure the theme of this video is why didn't I listen to the people who told me to read these books before? Because I love every single one of them. So I should probably start listening to you guys more and read what you tell me to. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lacey over at Ginger Reads Lacey and is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes. So I'll leave both their links down below as well as the Goodreads group if you want to look up topics and such. This week's topic is the books that you read because of booktube. I have like a million books that I could put on this list because of booktube. Basically like all the popular books that I read are because of booktube because your girl usually reads super unpopular books that nobody's heard of. Without further ado, let us get started. So the first book if you've been on this channel for a while, should come to no surprise, and it is the entire Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. I didn't read this series for the longest time. I put it off and put it off and put it off, and now it's one of my favorite series. So why I didn't listen to you all and read these books is beyond me. But I absolutely love Marissa Meyer. She's one of my favorite authors now. And I would highly suggest you read this book if you haven't, but you probably have because everybody and their mother has. The next book is a recent read for me which I just fell in love with as soon as I read it and it is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. I read The Scorpion Races by Maggie Steve Otter and I really didn't like it so I was terrified to pick this book up. I went into it with such low expectations because I was like I didn't like her one book why would I like this book? Everybody else seems to like The Scorpion Races and it was just not for me. But this book guys oh my God, I haven't read the rest of the series because your girl broke and doesn't have enough money to buy the rest of them, but, like, I really need to because I'm obsessed with this book. I have a full review if you want to check it out, but highly recommend this book as well if you haven't read it yet, which you probably have because, again, everybody and their mother has. The next book I'm going to mention is because of my lovely friend, Dylan the Reader 5, because he advocates for this book so much. He loves it. It's his favorite book. And it is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Dylan actually sent me this copy, so thank you so much, Dylan. I love you. Even though you're annoying, I still love you. Highly recommend this book as well. It is so weird. Pretty much the entire time you have no idea what's going on, but it works for the story. It's so good, and by the end of it, you just feel so happy. And it's weird because, like, you shouldn't. You have to read the book to understand what I'm talking about. But like, Diego is my little honey bunny, sugar plum, pumpkin pumpkin. I love him. The next book I have is The Diviners by Libba Bray. 100% I would not have picked this up if it was not for booktube. I've always seen it around and everybody always says how amazing it is. But like, it is a honker and your girl does not like big books so your girl was like, no, I'm not gonna read it. And then so many people told me you need to read this book. So finally I was like, fine, I'll read it. So I got the audiobook, highly recommend the audiobook, and just like, I love this book so much now. I have a full review of this one as well if you want to check it out. But highly recommend the audiobook if you haven't picked up this book yet. Even if you have picked up the book, listen to the audiobook because I, like personally I think it makes it 20 times better. And then my final book is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I definitely would not have picked this book up if it wasn't for booktube, pretty much any Rainbow Rowell book I wouldn't have picked up. They're not really my style. I read contemporary, but I heard that it was like the fan fiction thing, and I'm not really into fan fiction. Honestly, I skimmed the fan fiction sections of these books, but the other part, the story part, I absolutely adored. And Levi is a little baby angel unicorn, and I love him so, so much, and like one of my book boyfriends, and if it wasn't for booktube, I would not know that. So thank you, booktube, for introducing me to one of my boyfriends. I have a lot of them. If you want to check out my uh, Big Boyfriend video, you can do that because there's there's a lot of them. And I have no shame, okay? None. Alright guys, so that was my Top 5 Wednesday for this week. I'm totally going to make my own booktube suggestion because I feel like you should all read this book. And I just want to promote it as much as I can because I love the author. She's the sweetest and she just deserves for her books to be read because they're really, really good. But it is Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. If you have not read this book, like, I highly suggest it. It was one of my favorite books that I read in 2016 and I recently read Radio, which is the second book in this trilogy. Siren is coming out in 2018, so... I suggest you all read it before Siren comes out so that you can just like read that one and love the books as much as I do. So there you go. That's my booktube suggestion. 
Hopefully, if this topic comes up again in Top 5 Wednesday, you can say this book, because it's worth it. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.